हेलो एवरी वन एंड आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू ऑनलाइन स्टडी फॉर यू ए कंप्लीट प्लेसमेंट सॉल्यूशन दिस इज प्रतीक श्रोस्वाइयर फाउंडर ऑफ ऑनलाइन स्टडी फॉर यू फ्रेंड्स इन्फोसिस अनाउंस्ड हायरिंग फॉर 2024 ट्वेंटी एंड ट्वेंटी बैच नाउ द लिंक इज नॉट एक्टिव एंड आई होप मोस्ट ऑफ यू हैव ऑलरेडी अप्लाइड हियर राइट सो दिस इज इन्फोसिस हायरिंग हाउ टू क्रैक इन्फोसिस and then we had some uh, videos on infosys system engineer hiring full details right so all of you have already applied and now we wanted to know when will be the exam date and what kind of questions will be asked what exactly will be the test pattern right for system engineer role so that is what we are going to discuss okay friends one thing i wanted to tell you so infosys exam date can be announced at any point of time so we cannot say that after 4 days or after 5 days or after 10 days or after 15 days that we cannot say but one thing you have to keep in mind once infosys will announce the date you will get only 2 to 3 days for your preparation now suppose okay if infosys sends mail tomorrow okay for your exam 22nd of september then your exam will be probably on 25th or 26th of september so you will be getting very less time to prepare now friends you have to ask yourself how much you are ready for the examination if the exam is conducted after 3 days then how much well prepared you are okay friends this is a best opportunity for 2024 and 2025 batch because the number of vacancies okay uh you know according to infosys they said that they have a plan to hire 20000 candidate this year so if they hire they will be hiring in mass they will be hiring in bulk i am not telling for 2024 and 2025 there is no other opportunity but when they are going see here 2026 is completely eliminated 2023 is completely eliminated so they are going for a mass hiring okay so this will be one of the best opportunity if you miss then you are gone okay now friend this is a syllabus but before that i just wanted to show you one question now if i ask you to solve this question how many of you are literally able to solve pause this video okay for 2 minutes you take 2 minutes of time and then see if you are able to solve or not if you are able to find the logic or not so 3 4 5 and 6 so you might be thinking as a beginner sir 3 4 5 then 6 repetition number 7 8 9 then here it should have been 10 so at beginner level you failed okay then you will think so if we add it 3 5 8 8 4 12 so 12 by 2 okay it will be 6 7 plus 9 plus 8 by 2 right so 8 9 17 24 4 by 2 it should have been 12 here so at the beginner level you are not able to solve you are failing and it is very very clear friends in forces exams right it needs lot of practice then only you will be able to clear now see the logic so you have to multiply this three numbers So three into four into five, it is nothing but sixty. Sixty, you have to add the digits. It is six. Okay. So this logic should come to your mind. Then seven into eight into nine. Seven into eight is fifty-six. Fifty-six into nine. That means ten minus one five. Five sixty minus fifty-six five not four. So five plus zero plus four. It's nothing but nine. Correct. And then here ten into eleven into four. Ten into eleven into four. It is nothing but four forty. So four plus four plus zero. It is nothing but eight. So your answer will be eight. We will discuss more kind of questions, okay? And you have to realize that the problems or infosys exams will be not very very easy to clear if you take it lightly, and if you don't get selected in this mass hiring also, then you are going to lose a biggest. opportunity and friends that is the reason we launched infosys crash course and here you see few free videos also i have put you see the video 
and see this is us i will be teaching you infosys aptitude reasoning and puzzles okay so i have uploaded on video you can check how do i teach one infosys pseudo code video is there so arijit sir is there you can see how he is teaching and then salome salome ma'am is there she will be teaching uh, infosys pyq and also isa ma'am will be also teaching uh, this verbal ability okay and essay writing also we will be covering so we will be covering the complete infosys syllabus now friends see 800 rupees is not a big amount okay but let me tell you friends if you miss this opportunity no then you will have only regrets tomorrow if you come and say sir i will pay you 8000 rupees for this course but i want to write infosys exam and i want to clear i will say please don't buy this course even for 8 rupees also because now infosys will not hire for 2024 and 2025 batch so later on you will be having only regrets and even paying so much of amount will not help you out because you know this hirings will be only once right okay so if you have already applied friends go for this infosys cracker course 800 rupees is not a big deal and trust me we have already added lot of content and we will be adding more and more content a screenshots also many people say it sir it is not clear so we have started few more screenshots right so 1.2.4 1.2.3 1.2.5 so we are adding more and more whatever possible screenshots are there okay so that also we have started uh, doing that okay so anyway one i will unlock and i will show you to you uh so that you will believe that yes okay so let me see if i can do that okay so part zero okay unlock right okay so now if you will see here i will just show you and then i will tell you about the syllabus also so this previous year solving previous year question is very very important my dear friends so anyway we are solving previous year problem and plus we are also giving you the screenshot so that you also will be able to practice by yourself right so this is how uh, you know this questions will come and that is how you have to solve okay so this is nothing but a infosys problem okay fine anyway now let us go back and see how exactly and what exactly you need to prepare chalo bhai so let's get back here okay now so okay so basically reasoning will be there 15 question from reasoning and technical ability test there will be 10 question okay so here section 1 15 question from reasoning ability and 10 question from technical ability and verbal ability you will be having 20 question pseudo code you will be having five question numerical puzzles you will be having four questions english grammar test five questions and english writing test one question so this will be the total number of questions and then the maximum marks will be given to you correct okay so friends reasoning i will teach technical ability so technical ability here means aptitude that also i will teach and numerical ability i will teach verbal ability you have isa ma'am and you have salomi ma'am pseudo code five questions and english grammar and pseudo code of uh, arijit sir and english grammar and english writing test also will be taught by salomi ma'am and isa ma'am now friends in every section there is a sectional cutoff okay sectional cutoff now let's suppose here you solve 14 question here you solve 9 question here you solve 19 question here you solve one question okay here you solve four question here you solve four question here one question essay writing so english writing test is nothing but essay writing if you fail here you are gone if you fail in any one of the section if you are not able to clear the cutoff then you are gone okay so friends you have to take it very very seriously and you have to convince yourself you have to tell yourself that this is the best opportunity which infosys is given to you and if you take it lightly that means you are gone now this question you see the numbers in the following four blocks of squares have been filled according to some rule fill the number in the square with question mark now again same problem many of you are not even aware with the logic so friends here what they have done if you add everything because practical then you don't do the practice things will not be easy 1 plus 6 is 7 7 plus 4 is 15 15 plus 6 is 
सॉरी वन सेवन एलेवन प्लस फाइव सिक्सटीन सो इट इज फोर स्क्वायर ओके देन फोर प्लस एट इज ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व प्लस सिक्स इज एटीन एंड एटीन प्लस सेवन इज ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव इज नथिंग बट फाइव स्क्वायर करेक्ट देन हियर यू सी सो सेवन प्लस एलेवन विल बी एटीन एटीन प्लस एट विल बी ट्वेंटी सिक्स ट्वेंटी प्लस ट्वेंटी सिक्स प्लस टेन विल बी थर्टी सिक्स सिक्स स्क्वायर सो बेसिकली देर सम्स आर फोर स्क्वायर फाइव स्क्वायर सिक्स स्क्वायर सो दिस विल बी डेफिनेटली सेवन स्क्वायर दैट मीन्स इट शुड बी फोर्टी नाइन नाउ यू सी हियर टेन प्लस फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस टेन इज थर्टी फाइव एंड थर्टी फाइव प्लस फोर्टीन विल बी फोर्टी नाइन सो ऑप्शन बी विल बिकम द करेक्ट आंसर बट सी वन थिंग इज you should know the pattern first and second thing is right and second thing is you should have practiced this kind of problem now somebody will tell sir why should i focus on puzzles why should i focus on this particular thing because sectional cut up is there any section if you do not perform well then you are out of the exam okay now so every question is very good actually in the exam just a minute okay and based on certain logics 216 okay so as soon as you see you feel that sir they, this is nothing but a cube pattern 6 cube 4 cube 5 cube and what is here right so here you see 4 cube 5 cube and here you have 9 how you will get 9 so 4 plus 5 will be nothing but 9 correct okay here 6 cube and here it is see this was the main culprit here so how 9 came so 4 plus 5 that you know it's very difficult to think in the examination okay then here 6 cube and here it will be 8 cube so 6 plus 8 cube 6 plus 8 will be what 14 and 8 cube will be what sir 512 so option b will become the correct answer understanding right okay then you have okay so this a b c d so even this kind of questions also will be asked in the examination where you need to understand that this is alphabetical position so a is 1 and b is 2 c is 3 and d is 4 okay then f g f is 6 g is 7 i is 9 j is 10 y is 25 20 z is 26 o is 15 and p is 16 now what they have done so you see 1 into 2 Plus three into four. Getting this logic is not easy, dude. I am telling you, you cannot simply get this logics, okay? And you also have limited time to do the problems. Then six into seven plus nine into ten, so forty-two plus ninety, it will be one hundred and thirty-two. Then twenty-five into twenty-six plus fifteen into sixteen. So twenty five into twenty five will be six twenty five and plus twenty five is six fifty. Fifteen into fifteen will be two twenty five plus fifteen will be two hundred and forty. Okay, so it will be zero nine and eight. So eight hundred and ninety. So eight hundred and ninety. That means option A will become the correct answer for this particular problem, right? So that's what I am trying to tell you. So if you understand, you understand. If you don't understand, then it will be difficult my job is to tell you that take everything very very seriously and then only we will be able to solve this question now here there are two options 1k 2p 1j so many times what will happen no the problem will be simple but because of unawareness right we will not be able to do and friends see i have the classes i cannot every day come and teach you all those things that is the reason i said you this infosys crash course just for 800 rupees it is going to help you a lot a is okay so a b c plus 1 c d e plus 1 gap e f g plus 1 okay then m n o plus 1 so i j k so here i j k k will be there so one is nothing but k so these are the two option which is gone and then q plus 1 is q r s s t u and u b w right sorry u b w so here w will come so u plus 1 b and plus 1 w so 1 is k and 2 is w option c will be the correct answer friends once more i wanted to tell you 
see subscribe to this youtube channel and get this infosys crash course okay you will also get the photo free with this <laughs> course okay and if you want i can ask ma'am to come and take one day she is working in infosys so i can ask her to come once and interact with you okay so get this course as soon as possible and one class by uh Shreya ma'am will be definitely free for you so start the preparation right now don't regret later that is what i wanted to tell you thank you take care all the very very best